think the, uh, you know, I think tonight the better football team won. Uh, Toledo played better than us. They executed better than us. And, uh, you know, they clearly deserve to win this football game. You, you talked about the start, please. I mean, them going down the field, you're turning it over on the second play. Well, you know, we, the, the two things we talked to our players about, that the whole keys of the game were that we couldn't turn the football over and we couldn't let the ball over our heads. And uh, we turned it over four times, and we gave up three long touchdown passes, and we didn't give ourselves a chance. And, uh, you know, the, the same things that have been exposed all year, uh, you know, our offensive line and our secondary got exposed again tonight. We, we didn't protect the quarterback well. Uh, you know, Matt got hit a lot and was under duress most of the night. And, um, you know, we gave up big plays in the back end. And, and those uh, two things, for the most part, have been consistent this year. And, you know, it, it's hard to, uh, it's very difficult to win football games when you don't play well up front in the offensive line and you give up big plays. We talk it's enough for the, uh, the seniors and uh, this football team for battling back after a uh, tough defeat uh, a couple we or a week ago, uh, Tuesday. And uh, I'm very, very proud of the way that we uh, started playing this football game and, uh, you know, played 60 minutes of football. And uh, I, I can't be more proud of that. And I know I've said this about four times, but I can't be more proud of the way those seniors uh, got this team going and this coaching staff got this team going. It's not about Tim Beckman. It's not anything about me. It's about the Toledo Rocket football program. And I can't be more proud of the way those guys played today. How satisfying was it to have the start and finally have a, a good start in the first quarter here? Well, I, I, that's what we had talked about. And, you know, we've, we've said that for the last five weeks that we've been trying to start out fast. And to see our players do that and be successful, it was a, it was a great feeling. Do you think the big loss last week was more of a motivation for them to get that big start coming this week that they've got so much to prove? No, I, I really don't. I think that, uh, you know, that, that, that we've been trying to, to, to start fast in every one of our football games. I, you know, I don't. I think a loss is a reason why you, uh, you know, is a reason why that you, you actually uh, get better. But uh, you know, I think our kids looked at that film last week and and they realized that, that that's not what they want to be known for. And uh, you know, they came out and they played a hard-fought football game. That was a hard-fought football game. A lot of credit's got to go to Coach Clawson and the and the Bowling Green Falcons. Uh, but you know, we ended up doing what we needed to do to be successful and win. Yeah, the Yeah, I, I mean, those, those are things that we have been practicing uh, quite a bit for the last couple of weeks. And, uh, you know, just getting them prepared and ready. And it has to be the right time of the game, and the score's got to be what we want it to be at to, uh, to show some of those things. But, uh, you know, I, again, it was nothing that we conjured up just for this week. It's something that we've been working on for a long time. Well, I think, uh, you know, as, as he progresses, he's, he's a redshirt freshman. He's in his second start. Uh, as he progresses through uh, through his seasons and, and through the games, he's going to get himself better and better each each week. He's got great talent. He uh, just needs to get the snaps to uh, make himself successful. And, and he, you can see that he started out really well today. And credit's got to go to Matt Campbell and uh, Scott Isferding and, and the whole offensive staff for uh, giving him the opportunity to be successful. How rewarding was it to see Kenny Stafford and Tim Cartazzo, two kids who have worked very, very hard and maybe don't get a whole lot of publicity, get big scores today? Oh, it's, it's huge. It, it's all about team. And, uh, you know, the kids might not, uh, Timmy and, and Kenny might not get some of the same uh, press that maybe an Eric Page does who, who catches the ball quite a bit for us also. Uh, but, but this is about team. And any way we score is, uh, is what this team's all about. It doesn't have to be Eric Page or T.O. or Austin Danton or or or, uh, or, or Don Thomas. It's 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 about the Toledo Rocket football team. Just to have the peace pipe back at Toledo. What's that like? Well, I told them we're going to put it right there in the uh, in the trophy case right outside, so they can see it every day, and they can realize how important it is uh, for the success of this this program. And uh, we've talked about it since last year at this time, and uh, we've we've wanted it, and it's one of our seniors' goals. And uh, they got it back, so they achieved one of their goals. Thoughts on Eric Page tonight? Ah, just Eric. Eric just makes plays when we need a play to be made. Eric seems to make those plays. So, uh, uh, very proud of him, and 
and know he will just continue to do those things for us. Can you talk about how the offensive line has progressed this year, especially tonight, a night like Adonis had? I mean, I think that's really shown from week one to week 11. How far has he come before? Yeah, you know, they're our proven veteran group, and, and uh, we've put a lot of pressure on them since day one, since the Arizona game. Uh, about being the leaders of this football team because of the number of starts that they've had. So I'm very impressed with the way that they've played and responded, uh, you know, throughout the year as we continue to get better in the run game. We're still not where we want to be, but uh, we continue to get better. I feel like you guys made a little bit of a statement tonight. Obviously, some of the previous national TV games didn't go the way you wanted to in Northern Illinois, Arizona, and other games, and tonight, you know, I feel like you guys put a little bit better of a game together for the national Well, it's our seventh win, so... You know, I, I'm proud of any win that we have. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I guess, you know, because it's national television and, and those sorts of things. But our, our team's won seven football games. I don't know if there's a lot of people out there that predicted us to win seven football games. And uh, it co goes through hard work and determination that these players have of making the Toledo Rock football program a success. And uh, any win that we get is a, is a, is a great win for, for our Rocket program. How impressed were you with the defense? Well, we challenged them because we uh, did not play very well at all a week ago uh, on defense. So we challenged them, and uh, it, it didn't surprise me to rise to the occasion with Archie Donald and, and Des Morrow and Doug Westbrook and, and Alex Johnson, the seniors that we have on this football team. They they were ready and, and prepared and, and determined to make 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 a statement. Coach, I see you get a Gatorade bath out there. <laughs> yeah, a little Gatorade bath and. Uh, I'll take them all. I'll, I'll have one every every time we win, as long as we win. Thanks, guys. Beating the team who beat you three consecutive years and at home and especially with so much on the line, uh, it's just it's just it's just a it's a relief. I mean, talk about your game tonight. Uh, all my credit to the offensive line and the receivers blocking down the field. I mean, BG is a is a is a good team, it's a good defensive team. They they play a, a lot of good running backs and just give credit to the old line making the proper calls and the receivers being in the right spot to to pick up the down the field blocks for me. Yeah, I mean, a lot of a lot of people would have had a lot of space to run, but it was, I just give all my credit to the line. They were moving bodies, and of course, Beck kind of challenged everybody this week uh, just to just to get after them, play four quarters of football, and play hard as we could because we haven't played a, a solid four quarters. Uh, the closest we we said that we can was Purdue, and we played a good game versus Purdue, and we felt we going to challenge, we going to step up to the plate. Do you think that was the difference with this game? Was that that challenge that you put on you guys to come out and get past by like that? I mean, it's it's. It's a rivalry, so I mean, if you want to challenge us, and it's already so much at stake. I mean, either you either you make either you either you make a play or you don't. So it's just like you you had to show up. I mean, if you can't be a, on on every cylinder for this game, I don't know, I don't know what, what you plan for. Anything else for Donna? Okay, well, TJ, talk about what you guys did defensively today. Only 35 yards rushing. Well, as a defense, you know, we talk about being tougher than the opponent up front. <clears throat> as a defensive line, that's, you know, one of our jobs to make sure that we're getting pressure up front, you know, creating a new line of scrimmage. And, you know, I, I feel like we did a pretty good job with that statistically, as you know, as you can show. So, I mean, everyone just played hard up front, and the linebackers were able to fail and make plays. <coughs> For guys like you and Eric who grew up in Northwest Ohio and kind of been around this game, is this Feel extra good for you guys to you know, live right out, right outside your two school playing line. I mean, yeah, it was it was pretty exciting, you know, just being a part of the game itself. You know, know the history of the game. You know, we had highlights of old players who played. You know, just being able to just see how the whole city takes the game and just how important it is. Just you know, only adds to the importance of it in your own mindset. And also, you know, being at home, playing at home in a rivalry game is always the best thing. Did you talk about that one? Yeah, I mean, actually, 
It was, I don't know, I guess it was a hustle play, really. I mean, I, I just turned around. I, I kind of almost busted assignment at first, and so the best I could do is to chase him down. And, you know, as soon as I chased him down, I was able to get a club there, you know, and the ball came out. So I guess luck worked my way. Can you talk about your, your guys' ability in defense to, to uh, get turnovers the way you have this year? I mean, you're in the, the top five in the nation now, so it's a category that's got to be pretty good. Yeah, uh, we've harped on that since last January, since, uh, you know, the spring ball throughout two days, just about getting the ball, takeaways, takeaways, and, and that's possibly the number one way to, to win games is the defense and taking the ball away from them and, uh, as our offense holding the ball. So we've harped on it, man, for, for so long. Each practice, with, you know, back in the spring, we're counting how many takeaways we had each day, and if we didn't get a turn them out, we were running gashes after practice. So it's kind of been implanted in our head that we have to take the ball away. So, you know, it only made it so much, you know, so much better for us to come out there each game, understanding that we have to take the ball away to, to at least, you know, be successful. Oh, yeah. And the tick marks, oh, man, we got a bunch of them. <laughs> we got about 12, I think. Uh, those are three and outs, and, and uh, three and outs and takeaways that we, that we force on the field, on the field, and coming off the field for third downs, you know, it's third down, third down wins. So, you know, how, how, how the game ends up. So, you know, it's something that we pride ourselves on. We all come off the sideline, you know, take us up, take us up, and so everybody gets excited about it. Thanks a lot. Thank you.